What's good with it guys, it's your boy Roman Nav and I'm back at it again with another video today. It's been so long since I made a lot since my last video. Um so today, since I have time and I'm not busy anymore, well for the meantime, I can make I can finally make another video. So today I'm gonna go ahead and uh give Ace Rocky and oh I did not get a chance to show you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so I forgot to tell you guys that I recently bought another snake. Um, I didn't get a chance to make a new video about me buying the snake because I forgot and I just got caught up with uh, a lot of stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to meet the one and only Athena. What's special about her is that instead of like brown, like Ace and Rocky, she's actually like a grayish cement color. Yeah, she's only a baby. She's only one years old, so I'm going to go ahead and give this baby two as well um, a bath. So this video is specifically going to be how to bathe your snakes 101. Yeah, let's, let's do it. All right, guys. So what can you use to wash your snake? You could use Dawn uh, dishwashing liquid. It's totally safe to use on your snake. Um... From the research I've done, you can use dishwashing liquid um, as, long as, as long as it's Dawn. Or you could use baby shampoo. Alright, let's do this. Alright. So, what you want to do is um, snakes are really sensitive to temperature. Um, so, you want to gently put them down inside the water instead of just dropping them down because their body will go into shock and that will cause a lot of stress to the snake. So let's go ahead and get her off of my neck first. Okay. Now gently, slowly put your snake. I don't want it to freak out if I'm not so. So you want to just go ahead and make sure she is fully submerged real quick and then after that, let her go ahead. Just put a little bit, sprinkle a little bit of Dawn. Now you lather her up. Come here, just go ahead and gently like that. Now that I soaked her up, now you want to go ahead and uh, rinse her. So this, by bathing your snake, it will help your snake shed a lot more. Loosen up all those dried up scales. It will help her, uh, her body movement. Get her little exercise on. Because uh, if you guys own any uh, boas, if you guys own any boas, they're slow snakes, so they don't move fast. So now what you want to do is make sure you dry her completely, because if your snake has any um, moist on her scale, her scale will tend to uh, rot, and you don't want that for your pet snake. So, yeah, I know. Damn, how loud. So well, just make sure she's fully dry, guys. All right, so that was Rocky's first bath. Not bad. She's kind of freaking out because she's not used to it. But to be honest, guys, she smells good, so. Three snakes later. So we got Ace. She's chilling right out there, bath. And then we got Rocky over here. She's trying to warm up underneath the heating lamp. And then we got Athena. Well, she's in there, in that little rock over there. 
I don't know if you guys can see her, but yeah, you guys can't really see her. But she's inside chilling. And don't worry, this there's I put I placed the heating mat underneath, so she is warming up as we speak right now. So yeah, all three of them is finally clean, smell good, and complete. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little video on how to bathe your snake 101. Um. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And like I always say, to all those people who's having a bad day or who's, who is going through a rough time in life, when in doubt, knock them out. I'm your boy Romanava and you just watched Nava Media. We out. Shh. Okay. You gonna text us in the group chat? What are you gonna do?